Families in Westland tonight are demanding changes at a dangerous intersection near John Glenn High School. It's been the scene of two hit and run incidents that left students injured. The most recent one just yesterday. 7 Action News reporter Tierra Braddock is in Westland talking to parents who are concerned about safety. For the second time in less than a year, a John Glenn High School student has been hit while crossing this intersection at Marquette and Newburgh. Now parents and residents who live in the area want something to be done to keep students safe. And they should be a crossing guard. I don't care if they're in high school or not. That's a big, busy road. Last December, a high school girl was seriously injured after being hit by a car while she was crossing that intersection. Fast forward to yesterday and another student was struck by a car. The driver kept on going. According to police, the student will be okay, but parents like Supertruska are worried other students are in danger if changes aren't made to the intersection. They need to have cameras. I feel cameras are very important, like by the crosswalks, like that one. Obviously, it's going to be a major problem. This recent accident has residents who live close to Marquette and Newburgh worried, too. It's something that I've been concerned about for a while, and I was actually going to bring it up with some of the neighbors next time I talked to them, asking if they had any thoughts about possibly petitioning the city to install pedestrian signals, buttons so that you can have the... Um, the light be activated if you need to cross. I reached out to the mayor of Westland, Michael Lundo, to see if the city has plans to address the safety of the crosswalk. He sent a statement saying in part, upon hearing of yesterday's incident, I instructed the chief of police to have patrol vehicles stationed at the intersection during the high volume commute times. We are also exploring the potential of pursuing a crossing guard via our partnership with Wayne Westland Community Schools, which are currently deployed for our elementary school locations. Supertruska says she hopes those changes come sooner rather than later. He's a big concern. You don't have to worry about strangers anymore. Just strangers, you have to worry about the way people are driving. Westland police are still investigating this latest hit and run. If you have any information that will help identify the driver, contact the police. In Westland, Tierra Braddock, 7 Action News.